Hey everybody, this is Peter Pagliari, and uh, what I want to do is throw the link out to people's. And let's get that started. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, sorry if you're watching this later. Uh, all right, so uh, yeah, I'll be talking about uh, some of the things I got planned and where I'm at, and you know, it. <clears throat> I've been on. Uh, Jeff Lafferty's Working Hangouts. And that's been a lot of fun. And obviously on, on my uh, Inktober pieces. And... I'm just getting this started. Do, do, do. Where's my post? I don't know. Everything's a little slow. We're gonna hang out running. <laughs> Sorry about that, but uh, No inking. Just give me another minute or two and we'll get going. how long this will run, at least probably an hour. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm like, you can find me in multiple places and, and hangouts and uh, my art videos, and I figured I'll do a, a little bit of a more concise update in this video, in this live event. Um, Uh, inks together here. 
Um, I don't know. I I have whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't have a ton of subscribers, but I have a good amount. You know. Um, on my YouTube's. Alright, so, so it's funny, we were talking on the uh, working hangout, and I've actually been talking to uh, a lot of other uh, creators and people in uh, mostly the comic industry um, about my career, and they're telling me about what's going on with them, uh, and a lot of a lot of us are going through this phase of having to step away from our own personal projects and focus on any number of things, either client work or uh, day jobs or uh, avenues of, of making money um, and that's you know it's, it's a, I mean you know we are all have to make money uh, in order to do uh, eventually do what we love and make money uh, out of that and uh, I know right now I'm overloaded with client work, and that right now becomes my priority. Uh, I've been posting the Inktober pieces when I can, and doing hangouts, and uh, doing sketch cards. Uh, when I can and original artwork um, that's all going to take a back seat for this foreseeable future as, as as long as I have pages in front of me of projects that are, that are sort of upcoming then that's what I'm going to be focusing on uh, right now um, let's see. Uh, it's hard to gauge where I am. Uh, I really need a better setup, but um, <laughs> yeah, right now I'm working on a, a book called End of Days with Barry McLean, he is the penciler. Um, and there's a whole team involved. Let me see if I can go to my Facebook page. Um, where are we? That's uh, not my Facebook page. Do, 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 do. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, so this, I got a bunch of pages. There's more pages coming to me. Uh, and this takes top priority. Um, uh, yeah, during a hangout, to look up anything takes forever. Okay. Uh, the writer, creator, and to be publisher of this is John. Uh, excuse me if I butcher this. Meneros, or something close to that effect. Uh, Atomic Ink Studios is going to be the publisher. It will be a cover. 
and uh, I'll be the anchor on this. And uh, J Primus Dickerson, I believe, is the uh, going to be the colorist. So we got a full team together. Um, I'm really excited about this. You know, I'm really excited to be working with Barry. Uh, if you follow his work at all, then you know this guy is penciling. I don't know. I even lost count. Like he's penciling multiple books currently, as well as doing some samples for GC. Uh, I definitely recommend following this guy's work, uh, even, if, even if you're not a fan of mine. Um, he is just going to skyrocket. I, I promise you this. He's a good penciler. Uh, he's, he's fast as all heck. And he's going to be a rising star for sure. And if you haven't heard of any of the other guys, you will be coming up. Um, so, yeah, I got this, this comic I'm working on. Um, Barry has also, and Barry's also known as uh, Stay Broke Studios. And I am you know, not studio. Um, okay, there I go. Try and click over to another page. It's not happening. Um, as also a writer, creator, Ryan Strout, um, I believe, who's doing a, an anthology. Um, I worked with him previously uh, where he, he did a bunch of short stories and stuff with different creators, and I inked uh, one of his stories. Um, so I'm going to be doing another short story with Barry for Ryan. Uh, so I got that. And there's a, another paying gig coming up, possibly, uh, sort of in talks, but it's a novelist who is putting together a team to work on making his, uh, book into a graphic novel and um you know right now it looks like i'll be um other than that i got a list of commissions i gotta get to and that's you know haven't been the best as far as getting commissions done and um, <laughs> sorry for anybody who's waiting on uh, one from me, but that's going to take that's going to take a, a top priority place as well. Uh, and I got a, uh, a cover. I'll be penciling and inking, possibly uh, doing the title, logo, and coloring as well. Now, mind you. Uh, I got Manga Studio 5, the latest Manga Studio, and I fooled around with it a bunch of times. There's still a ton I gotta learn, but I'm gonna give the, doing the logo and doing the coloring. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put it aside, um, for the most part, unless I, I find gaps of time, I'm going to put aside doing sketch cards. I'm going to put aside working on my Inktober, posting my Inktober pieces, and um, yeah, I was putting them into video form and, and talking over them. Oh, there goes our phone. Um, 
and and focus on you know this comic inking work that I got um, and also look into seeing if I can get some well, maybe another uh, good paying gig uh, it seems like more and more you know being an independent guy um, is sometimes too many breaks in between uh, client work or paying gigs or even just making money off of my art uh, and I have big plans um, once I do get things rolling on my own projects and I'm gonna I'm going to have to put the brakes on my own personal projects, really, for now. Uh, but I think in the long run, it's going to benefit me. So, uh, so uh, I'm doing this differently. This is a, a live stream event as opposed to a hangout. Uh, the slight difference of it is that there's a live comments feed um, during the Hangout. Uh, unfortunately, the comments don't wind up on the video later. So if you hear it during the recording of this, then you get to read if anybody is posting in the feed. Uh, but unfortunately, afterwards, you don't. <laughs> so I want to take a second. Uh, I got, it looks like I got five viewers. Um, and there's somebody, a YouTuber, goes by 69 bones. Um, <laughs> well, it um, most of the comics I've worked on, I, uh, 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 Six Nine Bones is asking, how does it work to read text from a writer? Um, well, most of the, the books I've worked on was have been mostly as an anchor. Uh, any penciling I've done was on my own creator own projects. Um, <laughs> no, feel free to comment. Um, um, yeah, they're asking about uh, links to the artists and, and whatnot. Um, I'll try to put links into, uh, the below the video later uh, in the description box to uh, some of the people I'm talking about. Uh, so that, that will be greatly helpful. Uh, actually, in the, in the live comment section, you can't put, uh, I don't think I, yeah, I can put links. So we'll, I'll do that later. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, my work may be taking a backseat for uh, a little bit coming up. Um, yeah, I got a lot of catching up to do. And it's funny, um, I was part of a challenge called which was a challenge started by Kevin Cross. There's a ton of people, well, not a ton, but a lot of people were involved in uh, being a part of it. And I did my 100 days. I completed it. Uh, you can look in my past videos if you're really interested and 
who will watch some of those or all of them. I have a, a playlist. So you can check out the whole thing. In the end, I did uh, 82 videos of my 100-day journey. <laughs> um, and I was working on Bright Eyes, which is a com uh, web comic of mine, and Neon Eden, and some other stuff along the way. But mostly it was those two I was talking about about I mean, and I will be getting back to those um, but yeah I was talking to Gazbot who is the current uh, fella who is doing his 100 days and you know commenting on his videos and he was checking out some of mine I'm going to on mine. Um, I guess the reason I bring that up is, you know, that it's, it's really important to finish projects, projects, um, and, you know, I want to, get back to Neon Eden, I want to get back to Bright Eyes, I want to get the Inktober, uh, you know, pieces I'll be making into a, a comic called Bobby B-Boy, and I want to get that done, because that's going to be my first published comic that, you know, of my own creation. Um, then I got a book called Arena, which I was an anchor on, and sort of producing that. Then I have uh, Bright Eyes, the first issue of Bright Eyes. That's sort of the schedule I set for myself. Um, but really, I, I need, you know, just for uh, money to be coming in and covering the cost of living and... Um, you know, last year was, was highly successful in many ways. Um, probably made money off of, uh, my art and commissions I had coming in and, but it's, you know, it's difficult to be a, a one man business. And that's currently the size of my company. Uh, so I want to focus more on getting everything caught up as far as past commitments, um, loose ends, getting my you know business more on track, which means uh, putting together my website which I have an address for but haven't uh, created the website yet you know it, it's I'm using uh, Webly which is you know it's sort of a program that helps you create a website so it's not going to be too difficult or sitting down and doing it and getting it done so I'm going to focus on the, the business side and getting uh, my affairs in order um, also, I'm considering doing a huge um, retooling of my studio. You know, I need uh, almost everything new. <laughs> um, but meanwhile, I'll, I'll use what I have because by new, I mean. I'd like to have an actual drawing table as opposed to a, a desk that I'm using currently. I do need, uh, if not a, a new computer, I do need a new operating system. So I need to update my computer, which I'm a little scared about because I know the um, more that I have to uh, 
you know, reconnect with all my sites and uh, re once I get the new operating system, add everything back onto the computer and make sure I don't lose anything. So that's going to be a huge hassle. I'm not looking forward to it. So I'll need a, a block of time where I don't have work on my desk. Um, yeah. Catch up on my commission list. Um, one of the things, yeah, I mentioned before is find gigs more to, you know, like the kind of page rate I really need. Um, and, you know, I'm not currently getting the page rate I would love to. And there's a lot of reasons for that. But I haven't really been published on a re regular basis for a while. I may have worked for Marvel in DC back in the day. Um, Image and Valiant uh, way back when. Uh, as well as tons of independent publishers. Um, but it's been a while since I, I've inked on a regular basis for, for anyone and had regular books coming out so if I can yeah move forward with these new products and, and have money coming in on a regular basis um, and you know catch up on my workload and, and get my studio in shape both you know in, in the physical space of my studio and the, the whole business end of it um, I think I will be in much, much better shape. I mean, it's it's just, I hate to step away from my personal projects, but I think I'm going to have to. So mostly, that's what I'm saying here. That's what's got to be done. Um, so I do hope that, I, you know, I'll... Still join up with Jeff during his hangouts and maybe do one or two when I can. You know, I got the Arcasts hangout that I host, um, as well as my own show, the Studio Synergy. And those are great to hang out with friends and get work done. Uh, but it's been lots of the time during those hangouts. I've either just simply was sketching or just, you know, working on something where it didn't need my entire focus. Like, you know, I find it harder to do something I really need to focus on, like, you know, like inking a comic page. <laughs> uh, something where I, I want to be more of a perfectionist. Uh, that's why, you know, you see me now, I'm like, um, if I'm on camera, uh, I'm mostly filling in blacks and just, you know, after the hangout, I'll see what damage I've done and try to correct. <laughs> but uh, I thank you all for watching. Um, yep, sometimes you need to do what you need to do. <laughs> Yeah, we all need money to, to cover the cost of living. Um, but I'm even thinking above and beyond that. I mean, if I really want to um, accomplish a lot of the things I want to accomplish, it's going to take more than just me selling a couple of pieces of art here and there. Um, 
or even just you know having a couple of patrons on my patron page um it's it's going to take a lot more than that so so i gotta um, up my i don't even know the word for it but up my standards of what I produce, how I produce, not even talking about doing better videos, but just being more professional and less um, wishy-washy. <laughs> you know, being more focused on my objectives. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to, uh, Build a uh, an email list for my studio. I mean, there's there's a bunch of things that I've been always meaning to do for my studio in order to grow it. You know, it's funny how easy things get pushed back, pushed back, pushed push back. Um, and I don't want to be that guy anymore. So. You know, I want everything, you know, everything I work on to have the potential to do really well and I don't want any project to fall flat because of my part in it. And that's, you know, that's, that's the projects I'm becoming a part of as well as my own personal projects. I want to be that professional guy that people want to work with, not only because of my talent, you know, I get the job done. So I realize a lot of my, you know, if I look at the last couple of years of my career, um, I know there was a lot of growth and experimentation and trying different things, you know, trying to get a handle of how to work this social uh, networking and media, um, learning new programs, uh, deciding on, you know, different methods of doing my art and whatnot. Um, you know, it's like uh, part of the, my, actual food getting like a, a Cintiq, but, um, you know, <laughs> when you're currently worried about just paying the, the bills, um, getting something that huge is not even on the table yet. Um, I wouldn't mind trying my hand at doing comics digitally. Um, you know, I've followed a few artists that, and, and seen a bunch of videos, and I could see it being within my wheelhouse of, of things I would do, but uh, definitely could not afford that today, or even, you know, you know, it might be a long time before I could afford something like that. You know, uh, for those that don't know, I'm, I'm currently engaged to my girlfriend Lisa and uh, we plan to get married um, it's when it's, the time is right uh, and you know I think she's thinking this year but it's really if if it's feasible <laughs> um, we do plan to get to to get married at the end of October uh, regardless if it's this year, next year, or 
somewhere down the line past that. You know, I have three brothers, and all of them now are married. Uh, but but it did take um, one of my brothers, I think, 15 years. <laughs> 15 years, is that right? No, I don't know. A long time, many, many years uh, to go from engaged to marriage. Um, I don't think it will take me that long, but uh, maybe a couple more years. We'll see. I've been talking a lot lately of, yeah, we're renting essentially apartment it's kind of it's kind of like an apartment kind of like a house you know we're connected on the left connected on the right so it's not totally free you know it's like we we'd love to eventually get a home uh if you know if we buy if we rent regardless Yeah, I think it's important to, for both of us that we have a heck of a lot more space uh, for both of us. We need some breathing room. <laughs> uh, you know, the apartment's bigger than either of us had before, but yeah, it just seems it just seems small lately. Um, if we want to do everything, we have to like shift half the house around. Um, so that's definitely been on our minds of late. Uh, so I know I'm really going to have to uh, shift gears in, in, in a serious way. Um, if getting you know doing something like a, a move like that is going to happen uh as it is something that was unexpected to me uh today we went to um furniture place and you know we've talked about it um you know we have a, a queen size bed in the bedroom and uh You know, I have a hard bed, and, and she's had this queen size bed that we've been using. It's kind of soft. Uh, so we went to her furniture place and tried out a bunch of beds and mattresses, and it looks like we're going to pick one up uh, next week. And, you know, we're not... <laughs> We're not even matching our, our, our current bills. You know, we have food and whatnot, um, but there's, there's stuff that's, you know, we're crawling past to get paid off. Um, and we went to uh, decide on a mattress that's like 600 bucks off the bat. Uh, so we make that's another thing. so <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, you know I'm really I really had to say that um, I've accomplished a lot within the last year uh, I've nailed down a direction for myself and made new friends and definitely uh, made old friendships stronger um, and it's solidified exactly what I want to be doing and how I want to be doing it um, and you know it, it it comes down to working on my own projects and work on eventually like 
into something really worthwhile. And, you know, it's, I'm not nailing down, you know, here's my five year plan, here's my 10 year plan. Uh, but I have an angle in mind, which involves, you know, a lot of people uh, working for me, working by my side, and a real studio environment. Uh, but I know that I'm going to have a lot to learn about business, and I'm, I'm trying to grow my knowledge on that uh you know i know i know the comic industry i know a little bit about the illustration industry um i, I know something about social networking um but uh, it's far from what i need to know and you know part of building any business is getting people who are better than you so it will be about picking the right people when the time is right you know when i could afford to start hiring people which is definitely not uh this year <laughs> yeah i'll be happy to just just get a, a few of my books out but i i, I definitely seen a big shift to where i'm going and where I'm, where i'm heading uh, just in the last uh, month and uh, so it's just a matter of time you know just having the patience to strike when, when the iron is hot and I figure you know working for getting books out that have my work in it um, will definitely benefit benefit me and um, you know especially give me a gauge of, of where things stand nowadays because uh, like any businesses uh, you gotta have a, a, a sense of the current trends and, and you know just the facts of where where things are selling best or better and all that So I'm excited to uh, definitely be more hands-on this year, um, and I'm not not sure. Currently, I don't have any set plans for conventions or even public appearances happen. You know, some something will develop in that direction. Um, but for right now, I'm strictly working at home. Um, and like I said, I'll be working on these projects, comic projects as an anchor. Um, you know, getting a bunch of uh, commissions taken care of, uh, building up my business, uh, getting my web website uh, worked out and up. And... And yeah, and just being being involved with a lot more uh, other artists. Um, you know, doing these hangouts as, as with uh, Jeff and and you know today we had uh, Lynn and uh, Mike Fleming Jr. Um, it's all, you know, it's all definitely uh, helpful. Um, so let's see, I know. We have Wayne Telly watching. 
It says, I'm self-employed, just about scraping through at the moment. Yeah, I, I know many creators like that. Um, you know, it's, uh, a number have... jobs or a number have you know like steady client work um you know i had i had different scenarios myself at different times you know i've had day jobs in the past although that not that many if you consider i've been uh freelance since 1991 um, most of the time, it was about getting some steady client work, and that usually meant comic work for me. Um, and that's, that's what's developed and been for me at the moment. Which is good. I mean, it keeps you busy, uh, gets you an income. The, I'm thinking about growth not only for my studio, but uh, for me personally, um, you know, my future wife, Lisa. Um, you know, we, we don't have kids, we don't plan on kids, but we do have. Pretty small, uh, a big tribe of cats. We have four cats at the moment. Um, you know, but all all our cats were taken in from outside. They didn't have a home. We took them in, we gave them a home, um, and spaded half them, two of them, and the other two we got to do next month. So we got things we gotta cover. We have yeah, you know, we have one boy and one girl, and we don't want the uh, girl to go back into heat and get babies. So it's gotta be done. But yeah, we, so we we love our animals, but you know they they also they're cats and they don't take up much room, but they do that need their space to uh, run around and go wild and I can't really comfortably have them in the studio while I'm trying to do some serious work. <laughs> you know, if I'm doing paperwork or whatever, they can hang around. But if I'm inking or doing art, for the most part, uh, they kind of jump all over me and they it's not conducive to getting work <laughs> done. But um, yeah, I, I don't I don't have any secrets to you know how things can work better for, for people. Uh, It's, things are things are always changing, and what's what's big today is is gone tomorrow sometimes. And um, you know, my main industry, the comic industry, is ever changing. And you know, doing the best job you can, and being consistent, and working hard. You know, if anything, my father taught me when he was alive is, is work hard and, and, you know, and you'll be able to uh, afford the um, It was fancier than that. And, uh, you know, the, the life of an artist, it's, it's Sometimes it's really bizarre, um, and it calls on 
a lot of different talents. Um, but, you know, if you work hard, as in putting the hours each day, if you are good to the people you're working for, um, as, as well as your fans, Um, you know, you'll see a return. It may take, <laughs> it may take one week, it may take one year, it may take 10 years to really make a good living off of it. Um, you know, I know, like I said, right now, I'm not making the page rate I would like to, uh, but it's been a while since I've been regularly inking, so it's it's getting my toe in the door again. Because you know it's like the the uh, the sort of people I, I knew <laughs> who were running the show uh, are all changed. <laughs> They're all different people now, you know. But it's all good. And, uh, you know, I, I would love to penciling more so that potentially I can, you know, like get my pencil work published by the different publishers. You know, I want to self publish, but it would also be neat to do a fill in here, here or there, not necessarily a series. Um, you know, I think some, I don't know, <laughs> I think some publishers might be open to that. Um, and I, I know that like, as far as inking rates and penciling rates are, are world of difference. And that's another reason I'd love to, uh, pencil some books. So we'll see. We shall see. Wow, it's already been an hour, approximately, coming up. Go a little more. Oh, I, I did want to speak on, um, like I just mentioned before, I do a hangout. It's called Studio Synergy. I started it quite a while ago. And, you know, um, G Plus and YouTube have, have, have gone through serious changes since I started the uh, first episode, which you can go back and watch. There's, I have a bunch of playlists uh, set up to watch my past. Uh, so Studio Synergy is one of them, and that's a hangout for artists uh, working, you know, on art and, and talking about the business and art and um uh, movies and TV and, and comics and just about anything. Um but I definitely wanted to mention that the last episode which was nineteen um sort of ended abruptly and the reason for that is my uh, webcam is very sensitive and uh, I believe I went from you know like working on a sketch card to working on a comic page and I had to uh, you know twist my uh, webcam a little bit in 
a different director to see more of a comic page rather than a close up that you know like that it was because I was um, inking a sketch card. I I believe that's what it was the case. I, I should have actually brought this up earlier. I mean, you know, right after I did a hangout. But um, yeah, so what happened was that I did that and the picture froze. So I tried to, you know, exit the browser and re-enter and that wasn't working and because it's been a while since i had that sort of problem i totally forgot i made the mistake of restarting my computer and it ended the hangout <laughs> you know for a while there i believe it continued past the point of me being in the hangout and the rest of the the people that were in talking amongst themselves. Well, uh, after I uh, turned off my computer and restarted it, uh, it definitely ended. Uh, I went back into the Hangout, and the, and the group of, of people were still there. And we talked for another uh, two hours, I believe, past the point of what's recorded. <laughs> Um, and, uh, I thank everybody who joined me, um, as always, I put everybody's link into the description bo box below, uh, the videos, uh, and if I ever forget anyone, just remind me, um, I'll do it, but I try to keep all the links, and yeah, that's what happened, I, <laughs> I made that mistake, uh, you know, I shouldn't touch my webcam at all because uh, um, and you know maybe one day when I get a better one um, that kind of thing won't happen but well you know for the duration while I have this one I'll make sure not to do that so I don't accidentally end the hangout Feel like I've been talking a lot. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Well, uh, okay, so you know, if if for some reason you have a couple of extra bucks and you want to support what I do and uh, help me to get to my full potential, um, I have artwork. I have uh, some. You can pre-order some comics. Uh, I'm going to be creating and publishing and or Envy store. I'll put the link, like I said, into the description box below. Um, and the other way um, is to become a patron of mine. There's, there's a website called... Uh, Patreon.com, and uh, how that works is a dollar a month, two dollars a month, ten dollars a month, whatever the amount you can afford. Um, you'll you'll be charged. Of course, you could you can you know I consider that a subscription. Some people. Say it's not like a subscription service, but um, essentially, you you pick a, a dollar amount to to s support me at, and you can, you can do a lot of support me at two dollars a month. But uh, for some reason, well, I don't know. I <laughs> I don't mean to confuse people. Um, my my thing is my page is set up to where whatever you you send me you support me on a monthly basis some people have it set up as as for every video i do it'll throw me two dollars uh, but mine isn't set up like that so you don't really have to worry about putting a, a top dollar amount 
Although, you know, do it as a safety precaution because sometimes things do mess up. Uh, so if you want to support me at $2 a month, but your top dollar amount is, you know, $5, $10, whatever, you could put that in as a safety protocol. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you could support me for all that I do. I try to post anything, uh, any new videos I do. I'll throw the link into there. Um, if I got some exciting new artwork, I throw it in there. There is a Patreon exclusive I do um, in the works, which will be a comic book that only patrons can read. Um, sort of uh, designing characters at the moment. And that's inspired by anime manga that I love. So the final result might look like a manga comic. Uh, might be a different style for me. Uh, something, you know, yeah. I just just really love the manga I've seen throughout the years. And, and um, definitely inspired about, you know, certain elements that they do that the, us Americans have very different... Uh, approach to comics and storytelling and even format um like i said it, it's, it, it'll be my take on manga <laughs> which won't entirely be manga but uh should be interesting so that's two dollars a month or more and uh i know i i, I have to currently that's another thing for my business that i need to uh to update my patron page because I believe much like uh, Kickstarter has been awesome for uh, comic creators to get their works published and get it, get it supported by fans. Um, sort of like Kickstarter was like uh, pre-ordering your independent comic of choice um, to help the, uh, the publishers and creators actually put the book together uh, as good as it could possibly to finance it and whatnot. So I think Patron is definitely very similar, um, you know, except it's not like a, a mad rush uh, to complete a project in a, in a What, in a month, two months time. So yeah, go check me out on patreon.com uh, slash Peter Pagliani. And you know, if you're interested, you can find me almost everywhere under Peter Pagliani. Sometimes it's Human Art Studio. Uh, mostly I think it's Peter Pagliani. Um, I have a lot of links on my YouTube page. You know, you go to the about page and you'll find uh, a lot of my links. I will go to my podcast, which is another thing I've been putting off. It's kind of like, what do you juggle? Is kind of how uh, we independent freelancers, creators <laughs> work our existence. And you know, this episode has certainly been about a lot of what I've been struggling with. Like, you know, what do I work on? What what has the most effect? Uh, how do I bring in the most money? Uh, and any number of things. You know, it's like I want to do everything, but realistically, we all have only so much time. So what what? what would be most effective to me ultimately, you know, getting more comics out and being able to uh, make some money and, and getting my own creations completed and um, kind of all that jazz. Right, let me see if there's any specific comments. Just, uh, I, I just see I have a, a, 
bunch of people watching. No questions. Some people favored, tweeted me and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think that uh, I'm going to wrap this up in a minute. Um, thank you all for joining. I definitely thank you all who were uh, commenting during the live uh, chat. Uh, but, you know, if you're watching this later, you know, Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, definitely uh, share my videos with your friends. Um, I'm just another creator trying to, trying to make a, a better career out of what I do. And, uh, you know, all that I do is really, you know, it's an honor and a pleasure to be working on uh, what I do. And I want to continue that and, and do even better work. Uh, in the future so yeah i think we'll i'll end it here and uh, i'll see you again as soon as i can uh, like i said you can follow me during jeff Lafferty's working hangouts which he does five days a week uh in the morning depending on what time zone you are um but you can check him out on uh, youtube when he's doing the next one and he does them Monday through Friday uh, it seems to be his new uh, schedule so yeah uh, thank you all for very much around and for watching and listening and uh, I hope you have a terrific day and I'll talk to you soon all right take care everyone bye